Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be covering how to set up local models to run with Rue Client with LM Studio. We're also going to be covering how to set up models with Olama. And then we're also going to be looking at do different versions of the same underlying model actually perform differently with Rue Client? And it all started really with this one particular comment that got me wondering about this, where they said, could you please do a video where you show us how to set up 5.4 to work with Rue Client? I tried it locally with Olama and I couldn't get it to interact with any files. So this kind of surprised me and it got me down this kind of rabbit hole of testing different things. I have a ton of footage, but I've boiled this down into a very quick run through. So I hope this gets you what you need and you can get running. Firstly, what you want to do is you want to set up your models in LM Studio. I always preload them so I can set the context window. It's just a lot easier for me. In all of them, I try to do the max context window I could fit, which are 16K or 20K depending on what it allowed. I start with the unsloth when you go into the settings, make sure you select LM Studio, then you select the unsloth one. I do speed this up just to kind of like make it a lot quicker, but you can see in this particular one, the unsloth uh, 5.4 works great. It creates the files. This is what the main test that I'm doing here is to make sure that it's actually creating files. And then ultimately does it actually generate a website, which in this case I load it up. It's just an index.html file, but it, it's totally fine. That works for the simple website. Now I load up the LM Studio community version. That one I do the same thing. Make sure you select it in LM Studio. This one's actually going to run now and it ultimately ends up generating files as well. So you can see here that it generates in particular two files, a CSS file and an index.html file. And it too actually loads up into a website. The next one that we're actually gonna be testing is the uh, kind of the unofficial version. This was an early version. So I load it 16K. Uh, create a new or configure LM Studio to make sure I point to that model. Set up a new task. I run it. This is sped up a bit. Again, this this ultimately is creating all the files properly. So in LM Studio, all three of the models that I ran have successfully worked, which is awesome. I was expecting maybe one of them would fail. Now this did end up generating a website. It actually looks about the same as the other one. So now I'll go over to Olama. I pulled the official 5.4 that's kind of in their model library and I go ahead and load it in. Now I jump over into VS Code. I switch it over to Olama here in the API provider, which is the very bottom option. And then I want to select 5.4 latest. What ends up happening here kind of surprises me because I, I would assume that this would be probably the most functional model. But after running this, I actually get this really bizarre error where it just, has no context of anything it just keeps asking me over and over again or not even asking me it just keeps going through like looking for files and not accomplishing anything and then i end up ultimately in this for this run through actually ended up getting a, a an error from rue so now i jump back over i'm going to go ahead and stop that model just to make sure it's not running anymore to free up my video memory and then what i want to do is go ahead and take some of the Microsoft and Unsloth versions of the model and go ahead and create versions that I can run in Olama. The first thing you want to do is you want to download the kind of the, the size you want. I always use the Q4K underscore M. That's just a good middle ground. I fits into my video memory just fine. So I'm downloading that and then I'm jumping over to the Unsloth one or to the Microsoft one rather. And then I'm going to download that one as well because I want to test both of these in Olama now that I'm on this journey. So those are going to take a little bit to download. So I'm going to go ahead and start creating my model files. What you really want to do is you want to make your model files very simple. You just need to say from, point to the gcuff file, and then you can set like the context window that you want to load into it. In this particular case, I'm going to be loading 16K into each model file, simply because the, that's what these models support. The unsloth one actually can support more, but I'm keeping this simple right now. And so you can see here, just name it something. You basically don't want an extension. I notice at this point that I actually have an extension on it. I need to go into my Windows settings because I'm using Windows and make sure that I can see extensions. And you'll see that here where I, I show extensions and then ultimately just remove them so that it doesn't uh, impact anything that I'm trying to do here. Now that we have the extension set up, have my model file ready. I'm going to go ahead and grab the downloaded versions of the GCuff files and I'm bringing them into my Olama folder that I set up. 
uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and take those names and stick it into the model file that I created here because it's important that those point to the, the correct file. I will come back. So the first one I'm going to be doing is the Microsoft one. This is the official one that they release. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and now create a image from that. So I'm going to go ahead and create a Llama version of this particular Gcal file. And you do that simply by saying Llama create. You can name it something and then you put dash F and then point to the model file. So this takes a few seconds. Again, I'm speeding all this up. So this might take a few more minutes uh, to actually run locally for you, but it's relatively quick. And once you have that done, you can now go ahead and list it just to make sure it's there. And you can see I have that model that I just put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and run that particular one. And we're going to go ahead and see if the Microsoft one actually works in through Klein. So I wait for it to actually load up. I go over into Rucline. You can see here that I select the new version of the Phi model and I'm trying to copy and I get the oddest error. Just can't read type. And I fought with this for a while. I could not figure out why that was happening. I think there's probably an encoding issue with that Gcal file because I remember having something similar with that in LM Studio, but I figured they would have fixed it by now. So I knew the Onslaught one actually worked for me from day one because they had gone in and like fixed some bugs in the, the actual model itself in the, in the encoder of it. And then, so I go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and create a five, four underscore unsloth one point into the correct model file. Again, super simple to do once you have that model file created, this takes a few seconds here. Once this is created, I'm going to do that same process again. I'm going to go ahead and load up the model. So the model is loaded and I'm going to go ahead and select the unsloth one. And we're going to go ahead and try running this. Now, this is taking, it's taking a little bit longer. So this is actually looking kind of promising. I'm running at 3x speed here. And you can see this one actually creates files properly. So the conclusion here is that you do get different results with different models. So I guess what you have to do is you kind of have to play around with, you kind of have to play around with the different model variations to see what actually works and doesn't work. And it almost makes me think that I need to redo some of my testing because I probably need to take some of the llama files and some of the things that just outright failed and try different versions of it, things that actually work. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Till next time, let me know your thoughts though. Like, should I actually start testing different variations of models in the things that I'm doing? Because I might be able to find a llama model that works great. All right, till next time, peace out.